Hi, so today I'm making uh, a little video about uh, getting uh, Alps uh, touchpad uh, working on Windows 10 uh, on uh, these um, models uh, Acer Aspire uh, 5732Z or the graphics model GZ or the AMD version like same uh, design like this one but uh, yeah with the uh, AMD uh, processor so I discovered uh, by accident downloading uh, some drivers for launch uh, manager because I wanted to have that uh, installed like in Windows 7 Windows XP but I couldn't uh, get to work on Windows 10 so I'm going to show you that this uh, computer I mean this laptop it's running Windows 10 I mean the superior uh, version of Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC that I have the license for it to get the touchpad uh, working on uh, Windows 10 or Windows 8 you need to stop downloading the Windows 7 driver because that one doesn't work, doesn't install on Windows 10, Windows 11. Always fails for no reason. Even installing go to uh, device manager will fail. I discovered that um, there is a model that it's newer. Um, JP2 launcher, what the actually it's happening oh well all right so there's the newer model of uh, Acer Aspire it's a v3-7710 G Alps uh, touchpad driver you could uh, find on the support page from the Acer itself but uh, I chose to download through this uh, website which is called if this camera works at all um, drivers uh, collection. I downloaded the uh, Alps uh, touchpad which uh, you know it's working with uh, Windows 8 operating system so that should work with Windows 10, Windows 11 well the latest versions that will work on this uh, computer because uh, since uh, Windows 11 uh, 24H2 uh, this uh, operating system will not work on these uh, old hardware because it requires uh, the pop CNT instruction in the CPU so the CPUs on these models doesn't support that uh, instructions all the core to do core to quad systems it's uh, it's the same problem oh well let's uh, Let's continue on this uh, subject. So you need to download this um, newer driver and then install it like usual. And then if you launch the touchpad, right now I connected the mouse, the external uh, mouse. It, uh, I um, disabled the touchpad. So I unplug the mouse the external mouse uh, for now so <coughs> sorry for the coughing so let's uh, try again so the touchpad is still working I mean it's activated <laughs> alright so we have the menus for Alps uh, uh, touchpad uh, uh, tapping it's working uh, so yeah, everything is working with uh, this uh, touchpad, even it's not the correct driver. But uh, sometimes uh, you can get uh, the drivers uh, working from a device that is a bit newer to older devices that uh, is, you know, that is included in range of uh, hardware that is supported uh, in the driver package that is happening with uh, you know this particular driver or with a display driver from a big name uh, that makes graphics cards and whatever so yeah the touchpad it's working great uh, I can do whatever I want I can change the the buttons 
So you see I can change the, um, the function of uh, these buttons. So the left button, so you see the left button, it's uh, set to show the context menu or the shortcut menu. So you see, but uh, on the right uh, button, it's set as uh, a click, but on my laptop, the this button doesn't work. So you see, it doesn't work. Because, uh, yeah, I start to this um, when last time it got uh, broke down because I start in humid conditions and in very humid uh, conditions and uh, the keyboard and the touch pad button this one got uh, you know broken because uh, of that and obviously the display so don't store your electronics in very humid conditions that will happen surely that will be actually cool all right so let's uh, try <laughs> Hey, it's working. I like it. So there's this uh, indentation. Well, I covered the palm rest, so it's very used, so that's why I covered. Oh, well, so there's this uh, indentation that it's indicating that you can scroll. So if I scroll, so you see, so you see, it's working. The scrolling works on Windows 10. I mean, all the features that uh, this uh, driver for this uh, touchpad it's absolutely working great as in Windows 7, Vista and possibly Windows XP but uh, who cares about the Windows XP because no one I mean there's a few people that use Windows XP computers even me I still use an old machine with Windows XP for old programs or nostalgia so after the driver installation you really need to reboot the computer to get the full touchpad functionality working so that's it about this video for uh, people that does have this uh, model of this uh, laptop or the graphics uh, model of the same version I will uh, include this uh, driver in the description but uh, yeah, I will uh, see you next time.